Hey everybody, it's Lisa from ToCreateAWebsite.com and today I'm going to show you how to create and add background images to your website or your blog. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about just basic questions about backgrounds and so the first part of the video I'm going to show you how to create one, a textured background like you're seeing here on my personal blog and this background, I get a lot of questions about how I did this background for my to create website and blog. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So let's start with my personal blog. This background, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see it closely, it's actually my face. <laughs> I created this textured background from literally the pores in my face and I did it in Photoshop and it took like two seconds. So let's go to Photoshop where I have the image opened and it's so simple guys it's like wow that's all you did you open the image that you want to use and I knew I wanted the background image to be this light purplish color so what I did is I went up to filter pattern maker and this opens up the image and I just selected an area of my face I don't remember what area I selected originally but let's just do my eye part of my eye and then you go over here and you say generate and just like that it creates this pattern that looks kinda crazy actually um, let's say cancel and let's do it again filter pattern maker and let's just use the area below my eye and we'll come over here and say generate and now you can see this is a more textured it doesn't look quite as uh, quite as textured as the original one I did with my eye and this is closer to the one that I have on my site right now so you just say okay when you get what you like save it and upload it to your site and so that's what you see here on my blog so if you right click I'm using Firefox and you say view background image you can see this is what the image is and I made it kinda small because I wanted my background to look more textured you see how you can see more texture here had I made the image this big you wouldn't see quite as much texture so all I did is I just use the rectangular marquee tool to just crop it down image crop and so I uploaded that small image and that gave me more of a textured look so it really depends on what's up what, what you want to do so let's talk about my static website a lot of people want to know how I created this site or this image very easy again in Photoshop all you do is you open up a new palette actually I have it here so all you do is open up a new palette and we'll make it that height you can specify how big you want it I'll keep this at 125 by 122 and let's just paint it so we're gonna go over here first of all let's change the color of the paintbrush by clicking the foreground tool and we're gonna choose this color and if you knew the hex color you wanted you could enter it down here and say okay so then we're gonna take our paint bucket tool and just paint it there are many ways to paint a palette in Photoshop that's just the way I chose to do it for this video so now we're gonna add the www and use the text tool over here and we're gonna click here and make sure it's the right size it's 16 point here we may have to adjust it so we're gonna just type oh let's change the color let's make it black just so you can see it so let's just type www it's kinda of small so I'm gonna select it make it a little bit bigger still too small I'll make it 48 okay still a little off center so we're gonna hit the check mark come over to the move tool move it around using my arrow keys to just move this around arrow key down till I get it where I want it notice on my background it's a little transparent it's a little um, uh, faded because I played with the opacity so that's very easy to do in Photoshop you come over to your layer panel move it over here so you can see it and you're gonna right click the layer which is the www layer and say blending options and here's the opacity right here let me move it so you can see both the image and the opacity so you can just drag this slider and notice 
the WW is getting a little bit more faint. So you're going to say, okay, to however you want it. And notice mine's at an angle, the WWW. So you simply just go up to edit, transform, rotate, and you get these little bars, these little handlebars here that I like to call them. And you just click and drag until you rotate it to the left. So when you have, have it at the angle you want, you use the check mark up here and say check. Notice I also have a little bit of a drop shadow in my original image. So again, you'll go up to your WWW layer, choose blending options, and check drop shadow. And you've got a little drop shadow. And for the most part, that's it. Obviously, I used a different font for this. The um, www might be a little bit bigger but now you kind of get the idea so I just saved this image I think as a JPEG uploaded it to my site and now it's all about just entering the code into your site to make the background appear now depending on whether or not you have a static website or a blog it's gonna be a little bit different let's start out by doing a static website how do you insert the background into your static website okay so right now you're looking at to create a website.com which is my static website not my blog I'm gonna show you guys a trick hopefully you use Firefox if you do you wanna download this plugin called firebug it's a great way to spy on other people's code to see how they accomplish things so if you wanna see how someone added a background to their site it's very simple you just install firebug and when you install it it'll give you a little bug at the bottom right corner of your browser unfortunately because of the settings of this video you can't see it but trust me in the bottom right corner there is a little bug on my browser and when I click that bug it pops up a panel if you will and you just click this little arrow here and I'm gonna click on the background and right away you see it gives you the code that generated this background so this line right here this background image URL and see as I hover over it it's even showing me the image so let's say I want to change it I can actually change my background image and test something out right here through the plugin now I'm not actually changing my live site it's only locally you can't change anybody's site obviously but let's say I want to see how this ABC graphic looks as my background I can come in right here using Firebug and say A, B, C, and look, it just changed the background of my site locally. I haven't changed it live. So I don't like that, so I'm going to go back to my old image, www. And just like that, it goes back to the old image. Gotta love Firebug, guys. Download the plugin if you use Firefox. It's, it's very cool. So if you're using CSS, in order to add the background image to your site, all you do is add this line to your body tag in your style sheet. That's all you do. If you're not using CSS and you just have static HTML, hopefully you guys are using a style sheet. You gotta use a style sheet. But if you're not, I found this site, it's htmlcodetutorial.com and they gave you the code right here to add the background to your site. So you probably already have a body tag in your code so you would just add background equals whatever the name of the image now this is assuming that the background image is in the same folder as your page if it's not let's say you store all of your images in a folder called images then you would need to put slash images slash paper dot gif you know you want to make the path relative to wherever the image is stored if you're gonna do HTML and CSS you have to understand a little bit about paths and relevant relative versus absolute I'm not gonna go into that here but if you have a broken image it's probably because your path is incorrect and if you're in doubt just put the complete URL here so w HTTP slash slash www.com slash images slash paper dot gif or whatever it is if you're having trouble but you really should learn the difference between relative and absolute paths when you're doing HTML and CSS so that's how you would add it if you had a static website you probably already have a body tag now you just need to add this line here to add your image now for those of you using a blog let's say you're using thesis and you want to add a background to your blog all you do is go into your WordPress admin panel let's close firebug and you're gonna scroll down to your custom file editor 
which is your style sheet for thesis. And I'm gonna scroll down. Oh, there it is, it's already here. So this code right here is all I needed to add the background image for my blog, for my thesis powered blog here. Very simple. All you need is this code and obviously you would replace this with whatever the path to your image is. Now, if you don't have thesis and you wanna add a background to your blog, you will have to go down to your appearance tab in WordPress and go to your editor. And then over on the right, there is, it's kind of cut off, but there's a style sheet link. So you click that and you can't use the exact same code that I just showed you for thesis. It's gonna vary a little bit, um, but you would basically look for your body tag, which is probably already in your style sheet. And then you would just add this line here, background, that line that I just highlighted. You would just add that. Obviously, you would change the path to where, whatever your image is, and then you'll have a background on your blog. It is literally that simple. So I hope this has been helpful, guys. Remember, if you use Firefox, and I hope you do, please download Firebug. It's a really, really great way to learn HTML, CSS, and you can even play around with your site to see how things uh, can be changed before you go live. So if you wanna test something out before you change your background, you can just play around with your code in Firebug and not have to impact your live site. So it's a very, very, very cool feature. So I hope this background tutorial has helped you guys and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.